Although we're well into winter, snowmobile trails are in trouble. Katie Sharp tells us why in tonight's snowmobiling spotlight. For decades, snowmobiling has been a great way for Mainers and visitors to see the state and enjoy the winter. But after multiple wind and rainstorms over the last few months and not getting much snow during this winter, the trails and clubs are struggling. It's been a challenge. The December 18th storm couldn't have been at the worst time. And um, like we had talked before, we've lost bridges and connections to towns and communities. So clubs went out there and did their very best working with landowners to make those connections, at least the main artery connections for the trail systems to keep them intact. And they did an excellent job doing that. But a lot of that work is temporary. We'll have to go back in there this summer and do a, a, a much more repairs. One challenge they're facing is snowmobile owners not registering their sleds, leading to funds shortages. In addition to grants for general maintenance, clubs are also applying for grants to clean up and rebuild trails and bridges destroyed in December 2023 storms. When it comes to the grants, the municipal grants that goes out to these clubs for grooming costs and fuel costs and bridge maintenance, 100% um, of the funding for those municipal grants comes from snowmobile registrations. As we are in late February, many are still holding out. It seems like people wait longer and longer now to register their snowmobiles, and I, I totally get it. Um, however, uh, that's what funds the whole program. And so if people don't register their snowmobiles, we don't have trails. But the season is not over yet, and delaying now could be a bigger problem later. You know, and people do wait longer and longer before they register um, their snowmobiles, and a lot of people will wait like just before February vacation. February vacation is a, a big month for us for snowmobiling and the snowmobile clubs activities. And so, again, if they don't register them, um, it does affect um, future trail maintenance. So even if you don't plan on riding soon, officials still urge to register now to keep the trails open in the future. Just think of it as, you know, you really are helping the club and you're, you know, you might not be able to use, utilize your registration this year, but it keeps the trails open for years to come. Katie Sharp, WABI TV5 News.